Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In software development, sometimes we need to create a complex object, and the creation process involves multiple steps. The builder design pattern provides a solution, making the object creation process more flexible and controllable. Imagine you go to a burger joint and order a big burger, and they hand you the meal directly. This is an example of the simple factory pattern, but sometimes the creation process may involve more steps. For example, when you go to Subway and order a custom sandwich, you can choose different bread, sauces, cheese, etc. In this case, the builder pattern comes in handy. Let's take a look at the definition of the builder pattern. Simply put, the builder pattern allows you to create different variants of an object while avoiding the confusion of constructor parameters. It is very useful when you need to create objects in multiple steps. According to Wikipedia, the builder pattern is a creational design pattern aimed at solving the telescoping constructor anti-pattern. So, what is the telescoping constructor anti-pattern? In some cases, we see constructors like this. You can see that the number of parameters can quickly get out of control, and the order of the parameters can become confusing. Over time, if we want to add more options, the parameter list may continue to grow. This is what we call the telescoping constructor anti-pattern. To better understand the builder design pattern, let's use making a sandwich as an example and implement the pattern in Java. First, we define a sandwich class. It has five attributes. In its constructor, we pass in a sandwich builder builder class, which initializes all the attributes in the sandwich. Next, we define a sandwich builder class to configure the various attributes of the sandwich. Each attribute setting method, such as set size, add cheese, add pepperoni, returns this for method chaining. Sandwich builder also has a build method, which creates and returns a new sandwich instance based on the current configuration. Finally, we use the builder class to create a custom sandwich. First, create a sandwich builder instance with new, then initialize various attributes through method chaining, and finally call the build method to construct a sandwich instance. So, when should we use the builder design pattern? When an object has multiple variants and we want to avoid the confusion of constructor parameters, we can use the builder pattern. Unlike the factory pattern, which is suitable for one-step creation processes, the builder pattern is suitable for multi-step creation processes. In conclusion, the builder design pattern makes the object creation process more flexible and controllable by creating objects and steps while avoiding the confusion of constructor parameters. In actual development, the builder pattern can help us manage the creation process of complex objects, improving code maintainability and readability. Thank you for watching today's video. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to the ByteVigor channel so you won't miss more exciting content in the future. See you in the next video.